Hi everyone, this is Ram from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we'll see filter transformation in Power Center. In the previous videos, we have seen how to load the data from flat file to flat file and from flat file to database. You can watch those video. This is the second part and where we'll deal with what is a filter transformation, why to use a filter transformation and some of the additional information on this transformation and mapping example demo and disadvantages of filter transformation. Now, what is a filter transformation? So it is nothing but a transformation which filters the records. The name, the name itself tells it filters the records that are passing into it. And it is an active transformation and it is a connector transformation. Active is nothing but, as I mentioned in the previous video, like the number of records that are coming into the transformation, if that is not equal to the number of records that are outputting from the transformation, then it is an active transformation. Filter transformation will take a bunch of records and it will uh, it will check the condition and whatever the records that satisfy this condition, only those records will be targeted to the next transformation. So why to use a filter transformation? If you want to filter the records based on some condition, so you can provide a condition and if, if the like in the filter transformation and if that condition is satisfies, but that means if the incoming record satisfies that condition, then it returns true. Okay, and then the row is passed to the next transformation to perform further logic. And if the incoming row doesn't satisfy the condition, then it returns false. That means the row is skipped by the filter transformation. For example, if you want to filter male and female records from the source file or table, then what we can use, we can use a filter transformation and can put a condition where gender is equal to male or gender equal to female, which helps to divide the male and female records. Now, in order to improve the performance, what we generally do, like we will place a filter transformation near to the source files or source tables where we can remove the null columns uh, or null records so that it, it is not, it won't be processed in further transformations. In this way, we can improve the performance. Now, some of the additional information in multiple conditions can be provided in the one filtered condition by using AND or R operators. I will show you that and it evaluates in the order that we specified. Now, by default, filter condition is true. That means when the filter condition, when you create a filter transformation, by default, the condition is true. So if it is true, that means whatever the records that are passed into the filter transformation, all the records that the filter transformation will output to the uh, next transformation. Now, let's start with a quick demo. Now, I have taken a, a employee table or Oracle table and this contains employee ID, employee name, employee cell and employee gender as a column. And I wanted to uh, output to the two targets so the male records i wanted to output to employees on uh, one underscore tgt the female records to this one let me show you the data and you can see this is my source data which is present in employees one now we can see the uh, ram is a male and uh, uh, ravi is a male so these one first record and fourth record should go to employees one underscore tgt and second record and third record should go to employees one underscore tgt2 now we need to use a filter condition where the employee gender is male we need to transfer to the one uh, uh, target and where employee gender is female we need to pass to the other target i have already imported this and let me create a simple mapping and drag the source and drag the targets Now here we need to use a filter transformation. So that's why I'm clicking on transformation and select the filter. I'm just clicking filter and uh, this is for male. I'm just keeping as a male. Yeah, it got created. Now let me create one more filter transformation. Create for female. Then now I'm going to pass these records to the filter and also these records to filter, columns to filter. Now here, whenever I created filter filter transformation, as I mentioned in the PPT. So the default condition, it will be true. Now let me open the filter transformation. Now we can see the properties. So the filter condition we can see. So it is a true. So by default, it will be true whenever we create a filter transformation. Now, uh, based on the uh, requirement, I just I just wanted to use 
uh, if the employee gender is male, I need to use, uh, I need to uh, put a condition, employee gender is equal to male in the, in the first filter, and in the second filter, I need to put as female, and it will load to the target. Now you can see uh, the default condition is true. Now I just wanted to mention as uh, uh, gender as uh, male. So that's why you can take employee gender is equal to male and validate. So expression passed successfully. Apply. Okay. And in the second also, you need to provide a condition. So here, employee gender is equal to female. And validate now if you want as i mentioned in the ppt if you want uh, one more condition for example i just wanted to use and where employee salary is greater than fifty thousand. so you can also use like this if you want you can validate so you can also use like this and is an operator now here you can see and operator now i just wanted only female validate now connect to the target Now save the mapping. Now let me create a session. Now let me create a session here. Let me connect this mapping. Now we need to provide the source and target connections. So I'm providing the source. So source I am giving as my source connection and target. So how to give these connections? I just uh, mentioned in my previous video. So this is my target connection. And here you can see the filter condition that we have given is present here. Oh, now let, let me create a workflow. Now let me start this workflow. Now we can see uh, into the from the source it took four records and it loaded two records two records into diff two different targets. Let me show you the data. Now you can see uh, into employees one underscore TGT male records got inserted and into the second one female records got inserted. Now let me go to the designer. Now here like in the uh, we have taken two filter conditions. So from the source we got four con four roads into the filter and four records into this filter. And from here, it got filtered two records and two records. But the biggest drawback with the filter is like uh, if you want to give multiple conditions at a time, like employee gender is equal to male and employee gender is equal to female, new condition. If you want to give multiple conditions, you cannot give, you have only one filter condition. That is a drawback with the filter condition. And also, like uh, uh, if you see, like uh, you, uh, you need to take multiple filter, uh, multiple filter transformations for every condition. So that's the biggest drawback. Now the disadvantage is if you see if you want to give multiple conditions separately the same filter transformation and route to different transformation then it is not possible you need to take separate filter transformations and also the row which doesn't satisfy the condition is simply dropped off that means so uh, if you are if you are taking only one filter condition and if you keep only gender equal to male and the female records are getting dropped off so there is no possibility of capturing those records and send to another target so that's a disadvantage of filter transformation this we can uh, achieve with another transformation that i will see in the next video now for the ref references for you is you can see this guide filter transformation which explains all the uh, points and you can also see our info support channel if you uh, love this video you can give your valuable feedback at support videos at the rate informatica.com or our twitter channel thank you for watching this video